Okay. You already ruined it, God. What? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to What the Duck, the talk show for Moonduck that happens pretty sparringly. One of the rare instances where we have episodes on back-to-back -back weeks, Friday to Friday. This is episode number 17. I'm Zayori. Our panel of Mott, Sir Action Slacks, Mott Packs, and Suns Fan is here. What's going on, Suns Fan? Great selling point. Yeah, we never fucking do this show. <laughs> We're doing it now. What the duck? <laughs> Well, we never <laughs> really treasure it. We never really went over a good read to start off the show, so I went with the cynical route this week. Oh, that's I, cool. It's cool. I like it. So you're switching it up. I thought it would that's fit your time. side. You got to keep them guessing. What, what's going on in the DC universe, Suns fan? Everybody's <laughs> in China, and I'm not, so I'm kind of happy about that. Woo! But, uh, you know, I've been playing Pokemon Go, and I had a, a joke that I'm sure other people have made already, but I was afraid of tweeting it. Where's the only place you can catch a coffin or a wheezing? <laughs> If you guys mention Pokemon at all, I'm going to be just... You don't want to play Pokemon Go no, with no, me, it's... Shannon? I I have no idea. I have no... I never played Pokemon, ever, I in bet, my life. I bet you Andrew, can find a Nidoran. Uh, Andrew, that joke, just... God damn it. Everything's going to go over my head. I didn't tweet it, Mott. I knew it was too lowbrow. I, I checked tell myself God before I wrecked tweet myself. It. Holy shit. I knew it wouldn't end well, so I kept it to myself. My At least you said, had the self-restraint in order to do that. Thank God. Yep, and I saved it for this fine venue. Look, now, milk. Milk and peanut butter. Nice, Mott. It's just milk right now, though. What's yeah. up with you, Slacks? Dehydrated, I see. That's good. A little hydration for you. It's hot as fuck in my house. I'm fine. I haven't watched any of Nang Yang. I feel bad. I literally didn't know the tournament was Nang happening. Nang Yang. Nang Yang. Nang um, Yang. Who's who won that? <laughs> Nobody. It's not over yet. Uh, that's, oh, is, is DC still, still in it? I think that's is the important it, question. Shockingly, yeah. yes. Ooh. Well, it's what bad. happened, Suns fan? Um, just uh, the game. You were about was, to open uh, up uh, about all of the struggles of being a team owner in the modern landscape. Well, first of all. To piggyback off of Slacks, I'm wearing a blanket right now. Slacks, how do you feel? You're wearing a blanket. I thought yeah. that was a blanket. I it's thought you so had a blanket. cold in here, dude. Can I tell you guys about the best AC's moment good. of my life? A lot of people don't know when the best time of their life is, <laughs> but All I right. do. I also lost the Zoom. I don't know. Oh, there it is. All right. Back in the day when I first met my girlfriend, I was looking for a new job, and I took a week off Outback Steakhouse. And every day, I would just submit resumes, and then I'd play Dota for like 16 hours a day. And I would go out, she would bring me Chick-fil-A in the morning, breakfast every day, and I'd go out in a blanket, completely naked, <laughs> and a hat, like a, a fedora. And I'd walk out there, and she'd, <laughs> oh, hand me, she'd hand me a caramel frappuccino and a Chick-fil-A breakfast every day for a week. So and that. That was the best time of my life. If there is a heaven, that's what it will be for me every single day. Just wearing a very soft. Probably similar. I can imagine you walking a out. A silk blanket with Chick Fil A. So, I can like if that's just if I saw you in public, I'd be like, who the fuck is? Oh my god! Get them away from our the children. Best day, the best day of your life is a month span where you're unemployed, butt naked in public, yeah, eating Chick -fil -A. eating the most. E Eating unhealthy Chick -fil -A. possible foods in the morning. Not that I can judge on yes. that, obviously. Yeah, I mean that's that sounds like a pretty Everything sounds like the American to, way to me. Exactly, I yeah. That moment. I mean, some people will say the birth of my first child when I found the love of my life. Mine was being naked in a blanket, eating Chick fil A every day for a And making stupid Dota voices. Wow. Do you yeah. sleep yeah. butt naked, Slacks? Do I now I do, because it's too hot in Colorado. I used to I, I used to wear things, but now it's just... <laughs> I used cool. to wear things. Hey, what does everybody wear when they, when they sleep? I'm curious. It depends. Because uh, I live in upstate New York, so it's relatively cool-ish. So I usually wear at least boxers. Um, sometimes I wear a short sleeve shirt, but for the most part, it's, it's nakedness. Naked. When, when we I, we get like be. one week of summer up here, so for that week I might be nude. But other than yeah. that, it's the box. I just don't. I don't understand. Time. Like I don't understand not why why you wouldn't want. But Shannon, naked, are right? you the PJs and robe kind of fella? No, I wear boxers. I don't know how you can sleep naked. I, well, I my mean, balls really, are just all over just the place. Yeah. There's no way I can be. I mean, I can. I understand. Naked. You. It's like you have to get used to it. Honestly, Shannon, I think it's like a. It's like a, I have to get used to my balls just sticking. Yeah, to one like place. all over the place. Yeah. It's like a fine wine, just like getting used to your balls slopping all over the place inside yeah. your bed. It's just like, Jesus. 
a fine I, wine of I, balls. Just, All right, yeah, you heard exactly. it here first, folks. Yeah. You sleep naked. That's interesting. I do what, it what for safety that? concerns. I thought it was know. normal. If a guy breaks into your house and he runs up to you with a gun and you're in your boxers, you're at a disadvantage. People wear their boxers when they're like scared, you know, like when they're being tortured. What? But if he walks into your house, you're butt ass naked, and you're like, "Who the fuck are you?" Like that. He's <laughs> a, now he's on the defensive. Your dick's out. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Especially, right. I like to sleep. I have the gas mask next to me and the old, uh, the old brass knuck knife. So if a guy's gonna come rob me, I put on the gas mask. I go out there butt naked with the knife, and I'm like, "Welcome." I mean, he's out. <laughs> You're not gonna rob that guy. He's gonna be like, "Oh fuck, that's much Don't better than that boxer, time. dude." Don't touch me. All right. The verse psychology <laughs> slacks. Just make him feel it like he knocked psychology. on the god wrong, wrong goddamn house tonight. <laughs> oh god. It's actually a pretty interesting strat. Yeah, I mean, it'll work, I'm sure. Intimidation, you know. That's, yeah. that's the way to go. I like it. Whoever so, sticks out wins. About, yeah. I, <laughs> about Nan Yang. <laughs> Gonna uh, match your 9mm with his 9mm, huh? That's right. All right, sorry. We Andrew's, like, trying to segue, train. and you're just talking about dicks. Oh, no, I mean, I, I'm, I'm always I'm down for a dick talk as much as the next guy, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you want to say that, but I'm, all right. I'm curious uh, what Trent thinks about Wings, wings man. I, I saw him making some wings. headlines on Reddit. They've been... I think the headline was something like, these guys don't give a shit about the meta, and they're destroying all these other teams. Apparently, their their series against Newbie was quite exciting. Yeah, apparently. Uh, I know Swindles was tweeting about it, too. I was up for... I had to stay up for 24 hours just to watch the end of DC because I'd been up that early yeah. the the night previous, so I crashed after DC. I don't even remember the end of DC was such a fog. I'm just watching. I'm like, oh, they're done. It's over. Empire's got this. How could you lose this game with Terror Blade? And then suddenly they're just dead for 110 seconds. And I'm like, okay, DC won. I'm going to bed now. It was a fog. It was a haze. But no, I didn't yeah. catch. Did anyone catch the uh, the wings fucking wings game? I saw. Nope. I no, saw I some of the clips. What time was that on on the East Coast? It would be like nice. six five a.m. I think. I was setting up for C cap. I was actually awake, but I was just prepping to cast. Yeah, but you were you wouldn't be awake if you weren't casting though. I mean it's true. I didn't wake up and go, Oh boy, I can't wait to cast Dota. I went Ugh. Time to watch some Wings gaming. That's what, what you woke up with. And That's then C Cap I got delayed by two hours and I was so tilted that I just went outside Oof. and caught Pokemon. Oof. Damn. That's the worst. When you wake Wings up early. They've always ugh. been like that though, huh? I mean they've Pretty always much. done these crazy cool strats. That's why they've always been my favorite team. Sorry, is, yeah. is that why slacks? Yeah, who else runs fucking Venomancer mid at the goddamn mid safe lane four God roll damn, anything? Dude. Wings of this is shit. They're like what used to be old. Uh, there's a play like that. Old Cloud, old, old Cloud Nine kind of did that shit. Yeah. They, they pulled out some random ass heroes. Support Tiny. Support Tinker. Yeah, High Light Eye. Cloud Nine is the one that I could think of. It's like of. a Cloud Nine that wins. It's pretty. Cool. Yeah, exactly. God. Yeah. You know, today uh, was the grand finals of C Kappa, and in the fourth game, Yamate picked Shadow Fiend. That was not good. That's I don't. Pretty... Oh, he didn't win. Oof. I don't think the new set? Shadow Did he have Fiend's it? very good right now. Uh, no, I don't think he had the new set either. Oh, he went then it's like. Not worth it. Hey, Mushi, Mushi won with uh, Shadow Fiend at the major. But he did a like a dual Zagadim scepter build. So that Mushi was something... also won going Brown Boots, Orchid First, Ember Spirit. They won with all sorts of clunky shit <laughs> in that qualifier. Was the, was the SF mid? What? Yes, it was yeah. mid. Uh, what? What items did he go? Well, he got killed so many times, he didn't really have many items. But he went oh. Tread, Dragon Lance, Ags, BKB. Ooh. Uh, kind of underwhelming. That's the build. I'm pretty sure no, that's I, not the build. I think it's, you can uh, see why you'd build it though, with like all the agi range carries doing the exact same thing right now. Though. Yeah, but I, I think you're thinking like, like, do you go Shadow Blade or do you go Dragon Lance? I assume. And or S and Y. And Orange Tarring did win game number two with an Outworld Devourer pick. Get that? Whoa! Uh, that's. Is that surprising? I guess OD's not picked that much. Dude, OD is years. not. I don't Wait, even you said think they won. Like, they, they, they won with OD. They won with OD. He's not. They won despite OD. Yes, he's he's, he's not that good. OD now he's he's like one of those heroes. If you let him get five or six items, he's pretty nasty. And Yamate just free farmed for like thirty five minutes, and then uh, he came online. And he just started one shotting people with his ult. It was pretty disgusting. I, I forgot that OD was such a baller. If you don't kill him at all. Well, that'll yeah, happen that, to most heroes in the game, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Not like yeah. OD, though, dude. Seeing him just one-shot your team with his ultimate when he's got a million in... It's it's something special. Wait, what did they nerf again? It was... Uh... Who remembers? God, I can't like, remember. the in-steal was a little bit lower, but I don't think that's the big nerf. There was a big, big nerf. I honestly can't remember. It wasn't oh, in the most God, recent coefficient patch. It was something before that. I'll tell you. Listen, you guys go on to another topic and I'll let all you right, know in five minutes. All right, Mott. Look it up. All right, cool. How about that's that all pudge pick? There was... Was there a pudge pick? 
I think it was a Nan Yang. What tournament uh, was it? Nan Yang. I have to go through the games and investigate. I didn't see. Like, the, did it work? Did it do anything? No, it it wrecked. Yeah. Wait, who right. was it? Was uh, it Lan Pudge makes its return? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was against Empire. Yeah, it was Wings. It's twenty six minute game. I think it was a support Pudge. Pretty sure. Roaming, moving around. Oh. I think so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I didn't get to did watch, watch the game, game in full duration, but it was pretty good. Yeah, the the whole SF. I like. I like the. I don't like building the same way that you used to. What, like Yules? Probably still work technically. No, I think Yules is great. That's yeah, that was like only Yules around too. for like a month, like two months at most, right? Well, Usually it's like S and Y, mm. like all these tanky items. Sky whatever happened whatever. to Mech Shadow Fiend, man? That was a thing back in the well, day. Well, the yeah, mana cost got increased. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's true. And then no one, everyone built Mech mid for like a long time, and then the mana cost got increased, and everyone's like, "Well, fuck that, I'm not yeah. doing that anymore." Yeah, I like watching uh, Blink Yules. Ags refresher yes. SF. Yes. It's so disgusting. He's still just so easy to pick on though. Like roaming supports that just gank mid constantly are so common right now. I, I don't know how you pick that in this meta and not expect well, to get the, roamed the on. The answer is you don't, or that you pick it like last and they don't have those roaming. Dude, he fifth picked it. They, they were feeling brave and yeah, it did not work. When, when did they pick that's it? A bold it was a fifth pick. It was a final oh, that's pick. Fine. But as long as like you know what's on the board already, you can get away with it. I'm sure it's fine. But well, apparently not. But uh, yeah. yeah, no, I'd like to see that hero come back. Yeah, I mean, he's, like, he's yeah. iconic, man. He's Shadow Fiend. I mean, like, Dota two. We were seeing solo mid Kunkas and Global Grandmasters the other day. Undershock played it two, at least two games, he I think. A good Kunka what player. was the build? Yeah. What was the build? He went was Rapier one drum. of the games. Armlet? He went Armlet first. Really? Armlet on Kunka? Mm -hmm. armlet. Okay. It was a desperation Rapier. Oh, uh, but... that makes sense. What, what do you go after that though? It's like Armlet, Blink, and then I think he went double Daedalus. And then just Daedalus, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. And then into Rapier. You know, remember when people used to build Cleave on top of more Cleave? Like, you yeah. remember that used to be a thing? That doesn't exist like anymore. Double Ember, Battle Fury. Or, or, or just like, oh, Battle Fury on, on, on Kunko. You know, like, it just doesn't exist anymore. It's just not a thing. No, the old school build in Dota 1 is PA, five Battle Furies. Well, yeah, that's that's as old school as it gets, guys. Isn't that Great like, build. what was it? Like, how much, like, it super, so like. So, like a ton of stout shields on axe or something like that when you went to lane or something. Like that. Sven Battle Battle Fury, dude. You know it's what I'm thing. talking about? I think two stout shields. Is yeah, the it was like two. Seen. Yeah, it was like two stout shields. That's kind of what it feels like. Well, obviously, five Battle Furies is a bit more than that, but. Uh... I hope Kunkka keeps getting some love. I don't. He's also playable in the position four. Well, I not, actually not only with Tinker. I want to be. I want to learn Kunkka and play him as a support, but I know I'll lose with him, so I kind of don't want to do it. So he's like he might end up filling a niche, kind of like how. Um... Bounty Hunter got banned so much that Ricky started coming in, and then everyone's like, yeah. oh, holy shit, Ricky's way better. In yeah. the same sense that now Disruptor gets banned a lot during the second phase, there might be teams that say, oh shit, we could just run Kunkka for kind of that same impact. It makes you switch like your five roll, but yeah. I think a lot of teams are discovering that, you know what, X is kind of good at certain things. It is. It's and really um, good. against certain really elusive heroes, too. You just need those uh, stack stuns after, but it's pretty good. Yeah. He just How about the reemergence of Shadow Demon? I'm digging I like it. it. Yeah. Love that. Purge, you, you know who likes it the most, though, is Purge. Yeah, dude. Every time I cast him and the Shadow Demon gets picked up, he, I can just picture him sitting at his computer smiling. He gets so excited. You can hear it in his voice. He's like, oh, it's going to be a good one. We got a Shadow Demon. Hell yeah. He's, on, like, the, he's on the panel, and he's just like, he's like giggling yeah. when, when Shadow, Fiend, or Shadow Demon gets picked up. So I casted like, yeah. that game where Lil went uh, Veil, Dagon, Shadow Demon. He had like five kills in the first five minutes. Purge was just, dude, he was frothing at the gash with that shit, man. He was excited. Yeah. Yeah, I like Shadow Demon a lot. I'm a big fan of Shadow Demon. Um, I hate good. him. <laughs> Slacks, why? Tell I'm me not why. trying to be that guy, but he's just... He's the, he is the ultimate Omni counter, and nobody re knows how to play him. That's why Omni has such a high win rate, is because no one knows how to play Shadow Demon. Mm -hmm. Now that he's going to be big, Omni's going to be Shadow Demon? Shadow Demon? Why, because like of, Demo of Demonic Purge? Yes, he's yeah. incredible against you Omni. You have to go yeah. Ags, Slacks? Huh? Yeah, you pretty much. much. You'd have yeah, to. I think you probably Shadow do Demon. have to go at it. Yeah. He is the hard countered army, and nobody knows. Now they will. So goodbye, my MMR. Nobody likes to play Shadow Demon in pubs, though. So it's fine. Yeah, yeah I tried exactly. that, and we still lost because you're Shadow I, it, Demon in a pub. It's exactly, frustrating. Yeah, that, that's the thing. Yeah, you. I even had a Shadow Demon in my game, and we were owning. We still lost the game because it's just it's. Yeah. Once you get past a certain point, it kind of just feels underwhelming. 
The illusions really are so like, sick with Terrorblade, though. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, the, yes. the memes are coming out with the Centaur Warrunners and everything. But the stacked oh, poison my. is the best part. It's when people aren't, you know, in the lane, they're like, oh, he won't hit that next one. Okay, I'm up to three. It's fine. Oh, that's four. Oh, that's five. Oh, that's a thousand damage. Dude, no, like it's like level. It's like four stacks, even at level one. And they're just like, what? that's not going to do any damage to me. And they just you <laughs> hit it. Like and they're four, like, oh, it's four something. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. Oh. So, Oh no. Like, oh no. no Purge is telling me that apparently if you do it right, you can stack in the dire jungle like five camps at once with Shadow yeah. Demon. Yes. That's pretty ridiculous. I haven't seen anybody do it in a pro game. I saw somebody do three camps. That one's a lot easier. You pretty much just use Shadow Poison. But apparently you have to disrupt and then you use the illusions and you can use Shadow Poisons and illusions to stack all five at I once. Think the five you need level four disruption, dire, right? Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Dire side, level four disruption. You have to and shadow poison one camp, and then you use the, like, your D key, like, the ultimate, like, uh, you know, actually use the poison, and then you have to use illusions at the same time. It's pretty it's ridiculous. It's really hard. But you can still stack multiple camps. It's easy to do, like, two or three, though. That's that's very achievable. He's a very Wait. efficient stacker. I have something to talk about. All right, what do you want, Slacks? We talked about Nang Yang. What's coming up next, boys? It's that time again. It's summit time! Oh, yeah. Yay! Yay. Woo. We're gonna have two summits this year. Two summits. Right. That's pretty fucking sick, in dude. Two summits in two weeks. Yep. Oh, I have star ladders. Oh, you're talking about star I see where you're going with this now. I was like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. I spent a lot of time in LA. That's been announced, right? I didn't. No, I don't think it has. I don't think it has. Oh no, we don't know what you. What? So pretty much just disregard what we just talked about. So Summit Five is gonna be awesome. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be twice as good as the last one. Exactly. Literally. Very good summit. Yeah. Very good yeah. summit. I'm gonna so do production going to that? on the Russian that stream. Way. How exciting! Uh, I don't know. I, I know FDL's going. going. I'm actually FD really excited. <laughs> I'm super excited to meet FDL, dude. CCNC is in chat, by the way. Shout out to him. Yo, um, God bless, dude. That's actually God gonna bless. be crazy. I can't wait to see him on the couch. He's, that's gonna be. Uh, I'm I'm super excited to meet everyone from FDL, especially Rhyme. Rhyme's like, dude, are you going to summit? And this is like a couple months ago. I'm like, I pr probably not. No. It's like, man, I, I really wanted to meet you, dude. I'm not sure if that was like, uh, you know, if he was being facetious, but dude, honestly, this summit has a really badass lineup. OG, yeah, Navi, Liquid, FDL, Digital Chaos, Wings, Ad Finum, and Fnatic. That is holy shit. A very unique spread of teams. FDL dude, like, and yeah. Ad Finum on land, plus Digital Chaos and Wings in the mix. The Greeks, let's go, baby. That's that's pretty awesome. Greeks, actually. UK, Dota. I mean, we got everything here. And Fnatic's gonna be there. Yeah. I, oh, I'm. I love Fnatic too. They're cool people. Man, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you've made a huge mistake. You, your favorite team is gonna be there, and you're not going. What did you what? like? Did you not look at the bill, Slack? So they're like, "Hey, you want to do this?" You're like, "Ah, that tournament." <laughs> I love the summit. It's my favorite tournament of the year, including um, uh, the Moonduck tournament. Sorry, get fucked. <laughs> damn. Out. Okay. Well. Summit is damn, the dude. best tournament of the year. It not only. I see how it is. It's got these hype ass teams. They come in. They go to the fucking house, and then they do content. They hang out. They cast. You get to see who they are behind the scenes. They have fun. A tournament where players and personalities have fun. All right, just relax. Best relax. tournament ever made. Just, just. And I'm not oh. going. So broke my heart. But uh, all right. Wow. What are you Did you already do? mod him, Andrew? Are you in the Here. process of doing that, CC? Or am I going to do that? Um, do you it. you can do it. Right, so real quick, we should probably just say that you and I are both going, Andrew. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. I'm uh, I'm doing production for the Russian stream, so you Wait, probably won't an announcement see yet? me a on camera. No, but I, I don't think, think so. I think no. I, I know I can. I asked LD if I could tweet about it, and he said, "Yeah, whenever you want." I mean, it, I leave in like four days, so it's pretty exactly pretty yeah, much down to the wire. Um, You're welcome. Be what what, what are you doing, Mod? Are you doing production for? I'm doing the observing for your English coverage, I believe. And that is all that I know about that. Yeah, I'm excited I'm, to actually do production. Apparently, there's just going to be one game feed that everybody's going to cast off of. So I'm not doing OBS and production like in past RU setups. I'm just straight producing camera feeds. It should be kind of cool. It's actually that's, that's the dream a, right That's there. a real good deal for you. My it really friend. is. So you have no idea how good of a deal. A lot is. of pressure, Mott. Big camera work. I'm going to be. You got to hit that one button on Xplit to change scenes, and then boom. Dude, just wait. I'm going to be catching those those player room cams. They're going to be cutting to the Russian stream Woo! to get those reactions. No tail will be up there humping the air. Damn. I'm, I'm, I'm you've done camera it. for the Russian stream, right? Yes, I have. Yeah. So how do you how do you work that when they're speaking another language? Like you, you just follow I the mean, heroes that they say just, or something? Some like they'll occasionally say the hero name, and you kind of have to just you have to hope that you're looking at what they're talking about because they don't like they don't direct you like the entire time. 
they, they never say, Mark, can you look at this? They're literally just going to talk and rush the entire time. So you kind of have yeah. to just, you have to hope for the best and be like, okay, well, I think he said Phantom Assassin there. So let's look at Phantom Assassin. And then most of the times you're following the action anyway. So unless you're like blind or something, you, you should be okay in terms of like actually catching Are there any the heroes action. they don't use the American names for? I'm sure there are, but. Uh, or American, the English names for? Because I'm sure American names. Chinese change everything right yeah yeah like the translations are so off yeah yeah like, exactly. some of the hero names sound so stupid oh I winter winter was were. winter was winter told me a lot of them yeah they, they are very dumb um i can't remember them off the top of my head but they're they're silly the only one that i remember is that life stealer is little dog that's yes, i always remember yes. that one yeah 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 exactly that's the one yeah, that's one of them they're all like oddly descriptive i remember seeing that post on reddit a while ago oh uh good. naga's like medusa 2 or medusa's like naga 2 or something like that i can't remember <laughs> which one it is naga 2 because they had like the same <laughs> models in Warcraft 3 or something. <laughs> How so. did FDL win the redemption vote? That's actually pretty crazy. Like, over the five summits, Grant, it's usually been those Grant, huge, yeah, yeah, like those huge big brands. So what was yeah. the, what was What's the play? What, what did Grant do? I think oh, he just he, he paid a, a lot of money. Match. So no, I think he did oh. the show match thing, and then he paid that money and because it like it's Smash GG stuff, I think, which is like you pay money to. Um, it's like a compendium thing, you know, you have to pay oh, money to right. be able to it's vote It's not in the stuff. compendium this time. It was that thing outside but, uh, of client. So you just like, had how to... doesn't complexity just pay their way into that? Like, I don't Did no one, like, I tell up our management, like, hey, guys, if you put, like, two grand here, we get to go to the summit. Like, did they just not want to go? I mean, maybe they didn't want to go, honestly. I don't know. With the with them dropping out of, um, whatchamacallit, um, Canada I mean, Cup, I have no idea what they're doing. Can we was... talk about that? Is not going to the summit a good idea? <laughs> Right before TI? TI? No, probably not. Up. It's probably a bad idea. Do you want to, A, do you want to give away any strats? B, do you want to play your best? I mean, it's not the biggest prize pool. We love the summit, as I said. But it's not the biggest amount of money. You're only going to give away strats, and you're like two weeks before TI. Why well, would you yeah. want to go to the I summit? Guess I think if so. you're in the wild card, you should. That's actually a good idea. You should definitely That's go what I was kind of well, thinking. Well, too, it's yeah. also a combination if you have enough experience on land. Not that. I don't know if the summit's the best example of a land. Exactly. Uh, it's not even like a standard land either. Because when I think, like, if you're a player, when you say experience on a land, uh, a lot of it I think has to do with like the crowd, just feeling the pressure. You know, that's what you have to get used to, or at least right. Right. have experience with, and you're not going to get that anyway. But like, complexity has plenty of experience on land, so they don't really care about that. The real so. dream is staying at home and scrimming people who came for the summit. So, like, if someone like Wings or something FNAF, like, oh, yeah. me, like sneak a couple scrims with them while they're in NA, that's I'm sure that would be the major win. Uh, yeah, they could do that. Actually, that's a good that's a good point, Trent. Hmm. You work with okay. complexity, so you know if they're doing that or not. I have no idea, but whatever. Yeah. Plus, hiding your strats is more important for a wildcard team than it is for a TI team. Yes. Because a TI team, you're gonna be yeah. That's if true. If you want to play good teams, they're gonna in all likelihood be TI teams that are already in there, right? Or just wildcard teams. Yeah. So hiding strats isn't really like you just need to be more become more versatile. Like wings, play any strat, play freaking pudge and win a game. Yeah. But wild no, card, it's care. it's too there's too much on the line for a short. Uh, do we do we know the format yet? Is it just double elimination bracket with four teams? Uh, for or the like summit. GSL, GSL part? It no, actually. No, for TI. Oh, for TI. TI no. wild cards. I I don't think so. I assume I'm it's still no GSL. Idea. Let's see format. what uh, Liquipedia has to say. It probably doesn't say anything about the format. But there actually let's, let's... isn't anything about the Summit format on Liquipedia either for Summit 5. It just has the participants and there's no brackets or anything. Is that still not announced with how it's actually going to go down this uh, time? I don't think it's been announced with the, in terms of the format yet. Damn. Down I the mean, wire. I think, I think, yeah, they're just they're waiting until the last second. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't. there's no format for the, the wild card or really anything from TI just yet, at least not on Liquipedia. Um, it's just talking about, um, yeah, it's just, it's like the same, the, the main event format's kind of the same as it was in Manila, but I don't know how the wildcard format is, so. Yeah, I've got so no idea. what's your guys' predictions? Who's going to take Summit, you think? Uh, probably OG, I think. Actually, you know? between them and Liquid, it's them and Liquid, right? I think, I think probably OG take it. Liquid must be so hungry right now for a win, but at the same yeah. time, so much focus is on like TI and what we assume will be Star Ladder for them as well. I, I'd um, like to see DC take it, but I think it, it might just be OG. So we'll I see. would throw Summit, dude. I would hard throw I, I kind of hear you. Yeah. I would play would like fucking shit. I, I, you know, I'd be off everybody's radar. Dude, you say that like that's not that much money, but it kind of is, right? I mean, it's, it's a lot of money, but if you're guaranteed to TI, what, I would what's go the to number? Summit it's 100K. 
Yeah, it's I 100. Guess it's, not that, it's not that much. 100k but... split? Like, we're talking like 45 for the winner? Yeah, I guess you're right. That's yeah. pretty dog shit. That's, that's pretty bad, you're right. Hey, don't say dog shit! Great well, tournament, I mean, LB. We love it. These, these are yeah, major I teams. wouldn't go to a tournament for 100k. You gave no, me but fucking it's, a... it's a comparative thing, right? fresh out of Manila! Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. no secret that the teams that aren't going to TI are going to be trying harder, I'm sure. For sure. Yeah. This is just a glorified practice for everybody else, right? Yeah. I mean, right. you have to look at it that way, because... You don't want to peak during the summit, you know. That would be <laughs> fucking disastrous. We won the summit, guys, but uh, we're fucked. For the summit, yeah. It is a really weird mix of teams. We got like OG, Liquid, really top tier teams, and then FDL, Ad Finum, who have not really had much experience on land. This is a really big opportunity for those smaller so, teams. Wait, so it's pretty cool. Ad Finum's had a lot of experience. They came out to Dream League and played all the fucking. Time. Yeah, Ad Finum has more experience than you would think, but I don't know if so, a lot is the proper word. Though. No, I mean, you play yeah. Dream League. Can, that's that's one. What else you got, Slacks? Can you name another? They've been playing a lot of shit. Ad they've Finum. done well in open qualifiers they've, they've, and European qualifiers. They're a good a team that has won some online games, yes, but they have not been to many lands. Even if the no, Summit doesn't not. count as a classic land like Shannon's talking about, it's still... They go to Dota Pit? No. They probably it's land-ish. I think they went to an ESL. Let me look this up. Okay. No, I don't think so. Slacks is so, on it. Real quick, I just want to point out that the teams, the, the, there are only two teams that have gone from, well, that we know of right now, that are going to Summit that are also going to Star Ladder, which is somewhere in America. We'll just throw that out there. And it's a couple days after um, uh, the Summit. So, and that's DC and Fnatic, right? Wait, Correct? what? Are, what? You guys are leaking? No, I'm just saying, I'm telling everybody with the info. I'm already. Oh. I'm giving information that's already been announced out. Slacks, to... you fuck actually it, are kind of right. They played on LAN at We Play in Kiev Slacks, earlier this year. You're such a fuck boy, Slacks. <laughs> God damn. All right, what were you saying, Mott? Sorry. I was just wondering. I was wondering what you thought about the fact that um, the only two teams that are playing both Summit and Starlighter, which are both Amer in America and both relatively close to each other time-wise, are DC. And Fnatic. I thought that was interesting. Although there are still other teams that have not been announced to Starlighter, apparently that we don't know. We all assume. Yeah, I'm sure Starlighter doesn't are know either. I mean, this thing's. A, I'm, <laughs> I don't even care if I say this in public. That tournament seems like a disaster, absolute disaster. So. Well, I mean, they haven't announced anything. So there yeah. was supposed oh, there to be that sponsorship. They were supposed <laughs> to be in Columbus to begin with. Then we heard San Francisco. Now we're hearing LA. Even that's not 100, percent but I think it's 95, percent and it's just there's no crowd. You're really know. obsessed about this no crowd thing, man. Yeah, I think you know, it's I remember when deal. we started the summits, teams were excited to come to the summit because it was a nice, oh, cool alternative the, land. Yeah. And now it's like, you you guys don't have a crowd? I don't want to go to this garbage no, tournament. The, the summit is like the one exception, right? Right. Yeah, but then like there's Nanyang. a tournament literally two days later. That's the exact same thing. I see. Like, yeah. Summit Plus, is the one you're ready to deal with that everything else is. I mean, if you look at the schedule, yeah, it's very packed. You know, it's... You have Nanyang. You go literally straight from Nanyang, from China, to L.A. You stay in L.A. for two weeks, and then five days later is T.I. It's yep. very jam That's packed. crazy. It's, I mean, it's uh, that, that time of year, time. dude. End of Q2, early Q3. Dude. Everyone's trying to get those tournaments in before T.I. Get that big ad rev, baby. After T.I., it's the dead zone, right? Well, at least for a few weeks. Yeah, I would Ooh. imagine. A lot I of that's because of viewer teams. burnout and the shuffle. There's no teams to play in tournaments, and there's no viewers to watch the teams because everyone's <laughs> dead from the international. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of a single um, tournament after TI so far yet. Uh, I don't, and I don't think we'll hear of any. I, I've heard like of like some TI. inklings, but nothing that has really been super serious. It, it's scary because everyone tries to min max to be that first tournament right after the shuffle's done. But if you try to pull the pull the trigger too early. And the teams aren't ready. It's just a disaster. You can't force right. it. And we won't know the. I'm sure we won't know the date of the reshuffle until no. after TI. Or <laughs> yeah, something that like that's that. hopeful to think it even be like a month after. Honestly, that's gonna be such a. That that's something to talk about though. Like, you what the have hell is gonna happen? Two hours. <laughs> like no! rosters, new roster lock rules. How many majors are we gonna have? Is Valve gonna have this big schedule to be like this year was way too busy? There's so many things that could I think happen. The majors are going to stay the same. I well, so number wise, I think I I hope CIS gets one. Yeah. yeah. So would but you say you move well. Frankfurt yeah. to CIS? Is is that, yeah, I think. I mean, and then you do China. Well, te SCA? Technically, I think it should be China, but I know that's not going to happen. No, so gonna, no, yeah, never, it should be Frankfurt for CIS probably. Okay. All, all they really need to do for China is just have a better production company. I think than last time and then they'll be i mean obviously not a lot of people there's a lot of debate on going to china for the majors and, and which city it should be in and yeah is it worth it i mean i think you can make a case china, for cis though 
you could no, pack CCS, a house there and have yeah, a crazy sure. crowd. Oh, China I once, can yes. China can shit the bed again in the major. They're still going to get the next one. Yeah. I no, but so. they will Actually. never have another one in Shanghai. I'll tell you that. Why? Well, no, I don't know. If that's, that's true. Like I, the only city. Shanghai is like I the ideal city to do, do it. it. You can't have another Shanghai major, dude. Yeah, they you can. Have to be you can. The city right next to Shanghai on the outskirts of Shanghai. Shanghai. Dang, it's just down the road. So it's a they, branding they issue, Slacks. That's that's what you're it, getting it, at. It's a thousand percent a branding issue. There's people that don't, don't know, play maybe. Dota that know about the Shanghai Major and don't know anything else. It won't be I in Beijing. Right. I can almost I, I, guarantee it I won't be Beijing. Right the the Sejuan Major. Be another one. What's that other Chinese place? Uh, Taiwan. Why don't they do it there? <laughs> oh God, Slacks. <laughs> <Slex. laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't want to get into Taiwan. Oh, Let's not talk about this right now. That wouldn't be a bad place for You might as well just go to Singapore, honestly. That place is legit. Singapore. So I hear. Singapore was... technically SCA, but... That was Dan Yang. I think we all Dan know Yang. that uh, Manila is not losing their major. That's for no, sure. No, that's... Yeah, that is crazy. Man, they showed up. The, the crowd showed that up. That crowd was the best crowd ever. It was one of the best crowds I've ever been in, honestly, for any event. It was great. Oh, my God, it was great. Yeah. Do you guys think that they will do Frankfurt again? I know, like you, you want it to be somewhere different, Shannon. But do you think Frankfurt is just the hot spot? Like, does it make sense to do the same thing, rinse and repeat, ESL Frankfurt? That's kind of their, I mean, their on turf. paper. But I, I have a feeling that uh, some people in the CS region will blow everybody out of the water as far as yeah. presentation. Thought you were gonna yeah. say blow everybody under the table, but Whoa. that works too. Damn. Well, oh. I mean, it, it, it takes a little ways, bit of both. Right? Let's be honest here, guys. <laughs> but you know who's gonna be psyched up would be ESL. What are we talking about? ESL Frankfurt, man. That's the... Well, oh, we yeah. don't know... They'd be we... so happy. They Holy lose shit. the Frankfurt major? Holy shit. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 don't, we don't know if they're going to keep the... the like, like, they might change the majors up completely. Like, I hope they do. I, I, I actually... I don't think that's great. I kind of want it to be in Manila again, but... Maybe they they give it to another SEA re, uh, another SEA country another SEA city. Maybe they give it to another um, European city. Maybe they give it to another hopefully CIS city or something like that. There's like other we don't know what they're doing with next year like with the the, the tournaments honestly. Like, I mean, what are, what are you trying to see, Slacks? It seems like you've got some good ideas lurking beneath the surface to switch up this whole major system. Not really. I just think that the majors. Eh, I think the system that they put out is that they want to have it in the same region every time. I wish there was one less major. I'll say that, and then I wish that it was kind of like the Olympics, you know? It, like, went to different cities every time, and it was like, oh, and you got this big new crowd. At the same time, though, Manila was amazing, so I don't right. know. I mean, it should be spread out, but it should be in the same region. We should keep it in those regions, I guess. You could switch off. We should have a CIS so uh, one. But... Maybe you could keep your Europe and CIS together, like, as yeah. one region, perhaps? Screw it. I was at Frankfurt. Fucking Frankfurt fans were shitty. Let's move on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, mean, no. I was more surprised at just how open the venue was. I mean, even the last two days, it ended on a Sunday, right? It did, did Frankfurt end on a Sunday? I think it, so the last two days were a weekend, and those days were relatively full, but there was still space in the venue. The days leading up to that, it was like a ghost town in there. I mean, more than half of it was empty. You compare that. Were there any empty days in the in the Philippines? Yeah, no. yeah, there were. Uh, yeah, the, first, the first the day. first couple of days, because it was on a week, like the first couple Same days deal. were on weekdays, for yeah. sure. There were there were definitely empty seats the first couple of days. Well, it's not going to be jam-packed full, but what, did it feel kind of like a ghost town, or was it just no, not No, 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 it, it felt it felt It felt pretty packed for most okay. of the days. There were very few series where I was just like, man, it's not that packed in here. Most of the series, and I think Slacks, you probably feel the same way about this, but most of the series, I felt like there were a very good number of people in there. Yeah, um, I remember the first few days at Frankfurt being kind of surprised at how how quiet it was overall. You know, the floor seats were full, but there was a lot of space up on the balconies. Well, that, and all that that's stuff. what even when it was even when it was empty over there, it was still super loud. Except for like when two Chinese teams played against each other, they did not care about that one. Oh. <laughs> like they they really didn't care at all, um, which no was interesting. Which was interesting to me because of the proximity it is to you China. Know, but that, I guess it's like, makes sense. since you slammed all the fans at Frankfurt, I, I just had a. A memory a flashback of that was a joke. I think Frankfurt <laughs> had the best fan that I've ever met. The fucking guy that was in that video we did. Yeah, the, the yeah. drunk dude. Oh, the drunk dude. The drunk dude. He was dude. from America. He was so, just yeah. Um... He was American in Frankfurt, <laughs> oh, there it is. and yeah. he was just every day. He was just pounding beers like he was inside actually a German. You know, he had a yes. liver made of steel, and he would walk. He would sit in the front and then walk back and forth. Like any time a hero he liked was picked, any time somebody died, he would get up. He would hold the beer in one hand and up the crowd with the other hand and just go yeah. And then he would clap and. He was like the hype master. And then we made yep. a funny video with him where we just put him down for five minutes and that was how it ended. He was a really <laughs> nice guy. 
Best fan in Frankfurt is an American guy. <laughs> Absolutely. How much no, does Val I mean, uh, care about the crowd being hype? You think yeah, it doesn't matter about the crowd know. being hype. Mm. I'm more for we should have rotating majors so that people people get hype. Regions get hype. It kind of feels like a competition. That's why people love soccer so much. Because all this stupid shit, when they come to their hometown, they're like, oh, yay, soccer, and they go freak out. And then they get the boobazelas, and they just go... And they fucking boo -boo riot. One of their guys pretends to be hurt, and the whole stadium starts <laughs> punching each other. <laughs> That's what I want what a sport. in Dota. God damn it. I hope sport. Dota doesn't uh, turn into soccer, where faking Black injuries is, is like part of the meta. <laughs> That's well, I mean, once like... those sub-players come out like Slacks, you know, and it's just like, we gotta get them in the next game. Someone, someone take a knee. Yeah. <laughs> It's all about the meta game of when people's RSI just suddenly flares up. Uh oh, we got a tag team sub in slacks. Guys, I'm sorry to tell you that even though you call it football, we have another sport called football over here. And even your football was first, we are still going to call our football football. America. So that's America. just how it goes. And a panel three. And a panel. Dan's game fail fish. Deal with it. <laughs> I walked. Have you guys ever been today. to a professional sport? Uh venue like a, yeah. a big game like a playoff NHL. game. NHL. Yeah. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yep. NHL Broncos. doesn't count. Anything else? Whoa. <laughs> I I've well, been to most the Bills hey, it's Canada. It counts in Canada. Just the Bills. Know how you guys compare that to the Manila crowd? Like well, actually the arena for the NHL size arenas and well NHL and NBA size arenas are the same. Um and during the playoffs they're usually packed for like Buffalo and all the places that we live. So actually um and it has to be an and important game. You know, Manila like and Pacific like a gets. Buffalo, yeah, Manila and like a Buffalo uh, playoff game, which is an important game, kind of have the same sort of the the same sort of vibe. But that's Buffalo goes usually above and beyond with their sporting events. So I, yeah, Philadelphia is kind of similar. It's a really strong sports yeah, culture. Yeah. I went to a Flyers game yeah. this past season. It was like two games or three games before they qualified for the playoffs, and it was it was pretty full, and we had like decent seats that were pretty high up and the energy was pretty high the main difference i think between real sports and main sports is that it seems like in esports people kind of like players on both teams even if you're an eg fan you still don't hate the team they're playing against you just like eg well, more for, there's always a home crowd though yeah for professional it, it seemed yeah, like right. the philadelphia fans literally wanted the other team to die every time they <laughs> well, that's, scored i mean that's philadelphia, that's philadelphia. yeah, yeah exactly. but, that's but philadelphia. it also wasn't just the people it was also the way it was presented like the, the flyers score they've got a fog horn that goes off for like a minute straight of just and everyone's running up and down well, the aisles going you also, crazy for for professional sports you have all that energy channeled into like three hours yeah. E sports it's like an entire Spread fucking out. day and exactly, entire goddamn yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. It's so a I would say thing. like as far as because I've been to some pretty hype playoff games for the NBA and even though the Manila crowd technically didn't match that, I think if you take in those factors it's probably just as hype, so I was really impressed. Yeah, like they maintained the hype for a longer period, yeah, because those, those broadcast <laughs> days are, you know, 10, 12 hours, whereas a sports game is usually no more than five or something. Yeah. But I just thought it was weird that in the presentation, you know, as a caster, I've spent most of my career trying to be unbiased. You know, that's like the big flame, all this fucking biased caster, biased casters. And in real <laughs> sports, it's like if you're not a biased caster, the local fans fucking hate you. They want you to die along with the other team. You know, yeah, you got to be that's kind of true. All uh, about the home court heroes. Dota commentators are equivalent to like Easy. ESPN, yeah, exactly. like where Easy you're not biased, because yeah. yep. those people are not. I mean, we don't they have, are biased, but they don't show it. We don't have local broadcasters, really. Oh man, that would be cool. What if Grant was the local NA broadcast? I mean, he kind of already place. is, to be honest. Is. I was gonna say, well, what do you need? Uh, let's see, secondary stream, not on the official one. Oh, he's got that. Uh, yeah, lo lots yeah. of flaming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like he's I think literally, he, he, yeah, he's, there he's literally doing that right now. Actually, I'm pretty sure. He has and he probably has so. the stream up on his own right now, and he's doing the local commentary for that. Yeah, can only he's imagine. Definitely, he's definitely casting yeah. ADL right now, but yeah, he's right. much. He's definitely the one of the very few that is like that. That and like Dreyage too. I guess certain language casters are are like. Um, but I, like, I think Dre is on a whole nother level. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, like, he's way is, up there, man. Dre is a big, very He's like helped build, build that Swedish gaming community. You know, he's he's like, uh, he's kind of like Valat, but for Sweden in some ways. It's a little bit different because he's Valat's been around like, longer. Created think, a lot he? more. I, content, I don't know how but, he's yeah. been around. I know Dre used to play uh, like semi professionally. Yeah, Valat's yeah. audience so, is bigger, so I guess it's not a, a totally fair analogy. But wow, all right, I mean. Ooh, that was a good. <laughs> Thanks a for good killing topic. the moves there. Ooh, my bad, guys. Yeah, good topic. Bring it up, fucking Dreish. There goes e break on all. Zay, why are you so fucking, fucking boring, boring guy? <laughs>
You are now involved in the inside joke. All right, so we've Thanks. talked about Summit. We've talked about Nay Gang. Can we talk about TI? Yeah, what do you want to yeah. talk about, Slacks? What, what do, do you it. got? I don't know, man. How's Wild it looking? Kinds what are you hype? thinking? Um, the hype? Yep, hype is growing. What's the prize pool going to get to? That is a good question. 21. I think yeah, that's fair. Interesting. I think it's not going to beat it, and then Valve is going to put in their own money to make it look like it beat it. And it's going to be some million? of those stupid weekend bundles. They don't have to put any money in. Oh, here's 50 more levels for $14. You don't think, you, you don't think it's going to get a million and a half more slacks? <laughs> no. With Immortal 3s coming <laughs> so, are out. Are you kidding soon? me? Yeah, it definitely will. Yeah, it definitely okay. will. Def like, I forgot. It was nope. so smart to mix it with the Manila Major because this came out right before Manila started, right? Like maybe a yeah. week beforehand. So it sort of combined that last major compendium. That was huge hype. Got a lot of sales going. They've strung out the ma or the the Immortals, and TI is still three weeks away before it starts. I, we're definitely gonna break it, hundred percent. Yeah, we'll break it. Yeah, I think we will. I think well, I don't know how much we'll break it by. Um, I, I think Trent's number of twenty-one Barely. million. Maybe 21 million. Uh, I, I don't think it would get higher than that, though. This Unless will be crazy happened. the biggest tournament in esports history, boys. Again. Again. Every year. <laughs> <It's literally laughs> every year, yeah. God damn it. Mm. I mean, that's pretty cool. You think we'll beat it next year? Uh, yeah, probably. I, I, don't know, I, I always thought that my, my hard limit was like 20 million. Like, once we break 20 million, breaking that again the next year is going to be pretty difficult. I feel that's, like Dota's, Dota I mean, is slowing down now a little bit, which is an insane I, I, amount of money. It's almost too much money, you know, for one tournament. That's. I mean, last year it I thought that was going to be the highest, but then I didn't take into account that uh, Valve would sacrifice to the gods the the workshop itself. <laughs> so that has definitely helped. Please, Suns 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 man. give us you've the been, state of the workshop. You've been waiting to have this for so no, long. No, 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 no. I'm not. I've talked Let about it this so many times. There's no point. Let it go. People have, haven't heard it. Have Come Have on. you Have you talked about it that many times? Because no, I can't remember. Says, they ruined the workshop, and then that's all he says. This is yeah. your chance, Suns fan. No, there's no Fucking point. Fucking go into it. There's literally nothing to gain. They they is know what they've done. Is there anything to lose? And they want it to be that way, so. <laughs> ah, the cryptic storytelling of Suns fan. They know what they've done. It sounds like that's my fucking dad Suns when he grounded like, me for no reason. Damn, you know what you did, son. <laughs> Every go time you room. have a story about your dad, it has to do with abuse. Or ghosts. Or something related to abuse. Abuse <laughs> or ghosts. Or ghosts. It was or haunted ghosts. by abusive ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> that cabin story is my favorite still. Dude, he cabin tried telling story. that story at, uh, or well, I don't know if he told the, told the cabin story, but he tried telling a couple of your stories at, at the it was not the it. hub, it was and not everyone was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm just like, nobody was interested. I'm like, man, these stories are great. What's wrong with you people? The fun stream, dude. It was not. Fun streams are hard. No one was having fun, man. <laughs> there was no fun on that fun stream. Fun stream. Mott wasn't having fun trying to explain werewolf. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. I I, uh, I got a little angry a couple times. Listen to me. Okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. This That's is pretty the much how it went. I mean, yeah. honestly, werewolf is pretty hard to play the first couple rounds because it's I don't like no, it's it's. Well, kind of I, I found I guess, it just yeah. like I I think I I needed a printout or just a list of the other yeah, roles that would I have made it that. easy. I knew what I was supposed to do, but I couldn't remember what all of the other possible roles are. Oh, so God, that's you, you should have just a, you should have just asked me because then I would have told you. Well, every but time. but then you're just like, oh, what does the seer do? Um, Not that I'm the seer. What what? Well, what if you were the seer, then it's fine. Do again? Could you please explain the lichen? Like I think. Well, I think nobody wants to play with that. Guy. I think that's what what Bruno did for us the major. I don't remember. Right. Fuck. I I could have been more cordial. I had I, I had more fun fake claiming lichen for the fourth time. That was <laughs> yeah. You did that and no one like you fake claimed lichen for like no reason and like you were just like a vanilla villager or something. You just fake claimed lichen or something. I was literally doing? the vanilla villager. What are you doing? The first Why? game. I was so excited. You sold it to me as everyone gets a power roll. This game's so much better than that stupid mafia shit where you have to sit there as vanilla town. I'm like, all right, I can't wait to be a werewolf or some shit. And I get vanilla passenger or whatever the fuck it is. And I'm like, great. Vanilla villager. Just yeah. along so, for the ride. Yeah, you get to be a passenger. You get to sit there and watch everybody else play this fun game. And I'm like, great. Not I've got me. werewolves eating me. This goddamn lichen. The lichen sounds noncommittal. Guys, I'm the lichen. I wanted dude, to be something. I dude, want to play too. It was, was like somebody claims lichen and then somebody fake claims lichen, which might have been Slacks or somebody. And you claimed lichen after that. I'm like, there are three lichen claims on the first day. I'm like, Andrew, what are you doing? The best one was so after that, Clayton just checks out. He is the real lichen mind you and he's just yeah. like i don't have to say fucking anything we're like he wait did, what what does that he mean he didn't like, say anything i don't have that to say anything so 
kill me if you want. I'm not saying jack shit. I'm like, all right, goddamn Tanner, yourself. I'm backing up. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then we let him live because it was so badass. And he, I'm he's sorry. just the light. We should talk about this. This is shit that some people haven't seen. No, it's funny because then it gets Memory. more people into Mafia and Wolf that we play later on down the road. Yeah. Fun stuff. Explain yourself. No, I believe this guy. That <laughs> was our fucking thought. Like, even if he's a werewolf, this guy deserves to live for brass alone. I'm, I'm totally. You know, that. the best part about that whole thing was that I like to watch um, Twitch stream fails compilations for fun. Oh, my oh God. yeah. Because yeah. like, I like to know what not to do. I know? love that subreddit. You showed me that. this. And they have like so many YouTube videos, and on like six different ones, they had the Nahas freak out, and I laughed every time I saw it. <laughs> My yeah. fucking god, dude, they're they're full of like the summit pictures. That some guy just like took the whole vod and chopped it up and just yeah. is running I mean, with it. It gets pretty heated, you know. That, um, that Nahas clip, the first time I saw it when I went into the production room, I laughed so hard when he gets I, up I, and he's I like, does, it flips the invisible table where it's just like, oh. Oh, and he sits down and he gets back up and he sits down and he flips another table. I'm like, Jesus Christ, he's about to hit somebody. Somebody uh, get in there. Time out. Jeez. I remember I was, like, oh, I was behind him for that with that entire freak out session. Well, your I, face is so good. Like, <laughs> this, this was my face. I was like, Mon's well, face is like that perfect zoom in moment. It's just like Because the first uh, half you tried not to acknowledge it. Just like, okay, this is gonna end soon. I'm just gonna look away. And then he flips another table and you're just like Oh, damn. no, dude, I was like, and uh, I was like, this is just going to be an Ahaz thing. It's going to blow over. And then he did. And then he went harder and then he went harder. And by the end of it, I'm like, OK, well, uh, now we're going to move on. Thanks for that, Alan. So that's kind of how I felt about it at the end of the fucking the round. So that was something else. Got, Thanks for that, Alan. I fucking love Dota. I and by the way, he was both. he was werewolf that game. So he, he did a very good job, I guess. Yeah. Uh, there you werewolf. go. No, well, I don't think he was, was he? I'm, pre I'm 95 It was a mafia sure. game. Oh, he that was, was he was either mafia or werewolf. One of the two. No, he was. Town. He was. He was are you sure? Yeah, he flipped certain. out for zero reason. Yeah. Okay. That <laughs> was the was funniest mafia part. Is that he flipped out for no reason? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's... He just wanted to go play Overwatch. Oh yeah. That's <laughs> oh yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And Nahaz is serious about Overwatch too. He's pretty high level, and he's super. I, I love watching Nahaz watch things because he's like the most animated person ever. Watching sitting next to him watching Ti games every kill, man. It's like. It's like the first time he's seen it. It's great. That passion. It's like watching games with Roland, the old BTS intern. Yeah. yeah. The hype. I miss Roland. I miss Roland. He was watching C Kappa this morning. I modded him on Moonduck chat. What's up, Roland? Wow. Is his name Roland Viper? Roland Viper. That's him. Yeah. It's tattooed Roland on his arm, too. So he's you'll a, never forget. He is a cool dude. <laughs> Doesn't All get right, lost, you know? Let's talk about this since we're on names. Yeah. Mott Pax and Mott, you've been having some problems lately. <laughs> oh, People yeah. People have been confusing you. I mean, that's, I, that's I not, inevitable. I have not. I have not had Which one of you two is going to change your name? It ain't happening. Who had the name first? Is the I mean, question. it's just what happens. It's like I came into the scene and I, I got, you know, started hanging out with these high ground folks and I'm like, oh, there's a guy named Mott. That's going to be confusing. Oh, well. <laughs> that's oh, kind of well. my reaction. Who, who gives a who shit? There's the like, what, first? three Davids at BTS? Well, I, I chose the name Mott when I was 11, so unless. 11. Trent? 11. Uh, no, I, I was older 10. than that. <laughs> Trent's like, I was 10. Right. <coughs> I need to hear this story, Mont. Yeah, how'd you get this? Your name, must Mott? be a really interesting story. No, it's story not an interesting story. I've already Mott. told you guys the story, and it's what? not interesting. Oh, oh yeah. Didn't you just. I could lie about it, though. It was, yeah, it must not no. have been interesting if I don't remember it. I guess. No, you, you don't remember it because it was it was dumb. Mott I could lie about thoughts. it or something. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I, I had a friend. Uh, this is the made up version of the story. Um, no, I had a friend. Off, so I no, no, I was trying to play in the Haas video, and I had to do some some quick production, and it didn't work Yo, out. Idiot. It didn't work out, guys. I went, like I went for the high stakes. The replays. Yeah. I oh. right. Listen, I need I, uh, the, the up and down arrow. Good luck, Russian scenes. production. Oh my god. god. Take it easy. I want to hear the so right, Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. The I, I uh, <laughs> I had a friend. Uh, he was a friend of my brother. He was maybe six years older than him. His name was uh, his name was Joe. And uh, Joe and uh, a lot of our friends, we, we played a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. And so uh, I was very young at the time. I didn't really know what, to, know what I was doing. But this guy named Joey, he, he would come and he would hang out in, in our friend's basement. And we would play D&D all the time. And he had this, this character named Mautern. And uh, this, this character named Mautern turned out to be a, a very... Um, at the time, I was like 11. So I was super interested in, in, in just like... Anything badass, right? You know, because I'm like, I'm that age, you know, where I'm like, oh, oh man, he was so cool. He kicked so much ass and all that shit or whatever. 
and uh, this character named Mater, and just he proceeded to um, he would he would literally go on his own adventures for the like for forty to literally for like an entire session, and we, we would all just be pissed at him, and uh, it would just be the worst shit ever. And one day I found out later on uh, a couple of years back that Joe was actually incarcerated for something or other to do, I think, with some sort of sexual deviancy. And uh, that was after I took the name Mauterin. So that was unfortunate. But uh, <laughs> that was all made up uh, off uh, the top of my head. What that's a not, story. That's not the reason. That's not the name. Mauterin sounds not, like a disease. Well, at least you made it interesting. I tried. I like. I was like trying to make it interesting while I was telling the story. And I was just like, this is not going well. But uh, <laughs> I'd like to watch Slacks eat a burrito, personally. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you really get the name, though? I made it up in WoW. <laughs> Classic Mott story. <laughs> All right. Great. Trent, where'd your name come from? I need to find uh, out where I needed different these. save files for Oblivion. So whatever year that game came out. Because um, we, oh, we didn't have, like, gaming that. computers when I grew up. I grew up in the woods. I didn't even have... I had, like, dial-up internet. I, had, I like, was a whole raised summer. by wolves. Exactly. <laughs> kind of like that. Um, except mostly coyotes. But... Um, yeah, so I like I spent a summer playing RuneScape, making cannonballs on dial-up. I remember that. But <laughs> uh, Oblivion came out, and I, I needed to differentiate my save files for my brother. So, being a super nerd, I uh, I was really into like history at the time. So I went with Mott, which was the first Mesopotamian god of death, I think. And oh then I added it with like Pax from like the Pax Romana, which is like that big era of peace and all that shit from Dude, from that's Rome. so much better than fucking Mott. Yeah. So, <laughs> so there we were. Yeah, I'm the god. Does that mean I win? Do I get to keep Pax it? Romana. No. <laughs> I was playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> Excuse me, I am the Savage Police. There's been a report of accidentally massive savagery. Oh, Everything no. fine here? Hey. Nice. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, that was awful. No. Hey, bye bye. Nice, have JJ. <laughs> Very well done. I have to say, though, out of everyone's names, I Ma, I think that I like your name the most out of all the Dota personalities. Why? It, it rolls off the tongue. Mott. Thanks, Mott. dude. Mott. You, you mispronounced it for you the know, first two yeah, years. Mouth. Yeah, Mout. Mout. <laughs> Literally just that from, like, everybody. Mout and Nvidia. Slacks, where does your name come from? Where, where, where's, what's the deal care. with Sir Action Slacks? I like names that are beautiful sounding. Like, take for example, forget the connotation of this name and just listen to I it. love this one. How beautiful it is. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Diarrhea. I mean, look at how the mouth moves, about how it sounds. Diarrhea. It's so beautiful. But when you think about what it means, it's disgusting. But if I had a daughter, I'm, I'm going to name her <laughs> Diarrhea. Because it's a beautiful name. Diarrhea. Change the world, man. Diarrhea. It's gorgeous. Diarrhea. Anyway. Right, so my, how does that relate to Sir my, Action Slacks exactly? My, yeah. So it's, is this? It's also beautiful. Thanks, Sir buddy. Action Slacks. Mott. Gorgeous. Anyway, <laughs> we should move on. Uh, what else we got to talk about? He's just well, dodging. we've we've hit He's everything dodging. on the docket, oh. Slacks. Yeah, so diarrhea. The, sky's the limit. The usual. Um, we're getting down to that point. Do we have any stories this week, Suns fan? You wanted to reserve story time yeah, this week. Yeah, that's right. You nah, reserved. I don't have it yet. You in reserved. China. Dude, you, you hyped China. it up so much. Well, do you have, have to wait till after TI. Do you have point. another story <laughs> okay. you can tell no, us? No, I have uh, not that I can think of right now. No. Oh, no. I apologize. We can't let him down. Mott, I know you got a zinger in there. Nope. God Never. Damn it. I, do you think I'd ever tell a story ever again after the shit stories <laughs> I've told in past? What the ducks? Are you kidding me? I want to hear more. Story, I, all right, I have a story for you. How yes! about this? Yes! I have the the Sir Action Slacks airplane story. We already How's told that, that last right, week. We told that here. last week. Fuck! All right, <laughs> I have a story then. You got fucked. I don't have a story then. Come on, Mott. Tell us a story from your. No, I don't have a story. What is your most embarrassing uh, moment, Mott? I don't have one. <laughs> I'll do. Uh, <laughs> do you guys have like an icebreaker story that you used to have? <laughs> We used to have like something ready for like if it got really awkward in a situation where you're with like four hopeless losers, you need a story to whip out. Thankfully, mm. I've never been you in know, that situation. Uh, I had one of those ready for a situation exactly like this. Oh, uh, lay it on us, baby! Come it's on. It's not actually that good. I just um, we're ready. You hyped so it up. I it's... was a young a youngling. Uh, I would have been six, six or seven years old. I I told you I grew up in the woods, right? And so we didn't have a mailbox. You couldn't actually get mail to our house because we were like way that like the bus didn't come to my house. We were way out there. So I had to go into town to your P.O. box to uh, to pick up your mail. 
and there was this beautiful post office. My town was shit, first off. Very small town. But there was a nice post office. Oh, brand new. All glass, this thing. Like, you know, all on the sides. Futuristic at the time. This is like 97. I mean, these guys were flying high. I don't know where the tax money was going, but it was in the post office. Uh, and so I get out of the car, and my brother's in the car with my dad, and my mom's going in, and I want to go in. So I hop out of the car, and I say to my mom, I'll race you inside. And uh, so I race her in, and I win, and I get to the mailbox. I'm all hyped up. So then she gets the mail, and then I'm like, I'm going to race you back out. And so I start running, and it's a glass post office, and it was a really clean window. And I, I actually thought it was just an open door, and I smashed through this glass. And we're talking like it was a full pane. This thing was like eight feet high. It's like giant pane of glass, and the shards come flying down, and there's like blood everywhere. And I go flying down these stairs. And then there's like there's a wedding going on across the street at like the only nice church in the entire town. So there's like shocked gasps. And then I, I you know, I get thrown in the, the car, taken to the hospital. And uh, um, so I pass out. They, they give me like drugs there. And I woke up in the middle of the stitching on my forehead to this doctor with a turban who's like right over my head. And I screamed so loud that my parents came running in from like the lobby. And, uh, yeah, so now I have, like, all these scars. I got scars on my knee. I got scars on my forehead. And uh, the only thing that I really remember besides the turban was when they took me in before they drugged me, there was a kid in, like, the waiting room of the hospital. And he was saying, and I'm, like, lying, like, uh, like on my back on the stretcher, right, as they're, like, wheeling me in. And I'm looking to the side, and there's this kid there who's screaming, saying, Mommy, it's stuck in my nose! And there was a penny shoved up his nose, and he couldn't get it out, and he was freaking out. And that's my only two memories from that day. But, Damn. uh... There you go. What the fuck? All what right. Was, was waiting for the we payday on that one. Uh, <laughs> and the payday was a kid got his a penny stuck in his nose. That's no, pretty good. No, the payday oh. was the, the Yeah, scratches. that was it. Yep, you got... I, I, have, I have a okay. yeah. story. Yeah. Well done, hey. Trey. Well done. Not, not to hype it thank up. Thank you. Thank you. But I think I've told Zyra this. He did not find it funny. So just <laughs> oh, to good. lay it out wait. there ahead of time. So I'm going to make this more of a question as to what you guys would do in this scenario. And don't be like one of those people... Captain Hindsight's, oh, I would have done it differently. You got to put yourself in the, like, try to put yourself in my perspective and tell me what you would do. Okay. So I used to work at Arizona State <clears throat> University as a, I don't even know what my role was or my actual title was, but essentially people would come into this uh, computer commons area and there would be a little section for help with laptops. Okay. It's supposed to be students helping students with laptops so you know people come in all the time with freaking laptops just riddled with like spyware because they watch porn nonstop. because nobody at asu really studies um so i just did that all day and then occasionally people would come in with like apple laptops macbooks and of course i don't know how to use it so i just have somebody else help them for me because i don't even know how to turn on a macbook right so one day, <clears throat> this this really, <laughs> this old guy, actually it's funny who he is. I guess it doesn't matter if I say. Uh, have you guys ever heard of Lucy? As in, in archaeological. The mummy, or the mummy oh, thing? Oh, yeah. Or the body? Uh, yeah. The, the old old thing, African yeah. woman? Yeah. <clears throat> so, let's see. This was like, this was forever ago. But let's say 15 years ago, maybe. Or 10 years ago. At the time, Lucy is like the oldest, at the time, was the oldest human found right which what was like 40,000 years i don't know what the fuck it was but either way this yeah, guy yeah, he found like her okay this is the guy that was responsible for finding her he was a professor at asu and i don't remember his name cuz you know i'm not an archaeologist or archaeologist so he comes in with his macbook and he comes in with his wife he just walks in like yeah, i need help with macbook please <laughs> he's just super decrepitly old it's actually insane how old this guy is so the way it's set up is there's couches. It's actually a very comfy area. There's tables you put the laptops on, and people, if they want to wait, there's a little couch area. So I'm sitting there eating, or not eating, but I have my Burger King. Like, I'm super excited to eat my Burger King. It's my break, you know? But unfortunately, there's nobody else to help these, these old hags <laughs> with the MacBook, and I don't know shit about MacBooks. So I leave my bag on the table, and the old guy with his wife uh, come up to the table, and I start helping with the laptop. Eventually, the, the old lady just migrates over to the, the couch area. So I'm helping this guy with his laptop, and not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. Luckily, it was just a like super easy fix with an uh, email or something like that. And I look over, and his wife is taking a fry out of my bag oh. and sticking it in her mouth. 
No! And I'm like, no! what the fuck is going on? No! Like, I'm super protective over my Burger King, right? <laughs> so I'm looking over, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I, I shoo this guy away. Eventually, they just both leave. And I'm like, all right, that's a pretty weird story that I can tell people. That's going to be funny. But I'm not sure what you would have done in that scenario. So this, a week later, and I've told a ton of people this story at the time, right? And they're like, oh, I would have done something, blah, blah, blah. A week later, literally the exact same scenario occurs. I have my, it's like they come in when I have my fucking Burger King, okay? I'm the only one helping people. Have my Burger King on the table. This old senile woman goes, sits down. I help this guy. And honestly, because I'm so enthralled in this thing that I've never really done anything with, a MacBook, I don't really pay attention to what's going on. I'm done helping. I look over. She's fucking eating my burger. She has stuffing it in her fucking face. What? Oh, well, and I'm it's like, a whole other level. Like it's it's beyond the point. Like it's beyond the point of no return. I can't say anything. Oh. So they both leave, <laughs> and that's it. You didn't say anything to them? No. You didn't. Uh, mention what am I gonna say? Word. Okay. She ganked right. your burger. You should have said this isn't fucking the cafeteria. Th this is. This is that's my personal a watch, very, bitch. This is a very respected <laughs> professor and archaeologist. <laughs> And his actual senile wife. Oh, she's literally like, senile. Like, oh, she's demented. She's senile. She's like, no, no, no. Yeah. I don't know this, but you have to be demented to eat somebody's burger. King. <laughs> well, yeah, I, that's I mean, one way to put it. Yeah, I guess I you're mean, right. Yeah, if she's actually got a few screws loose, maybe. But if not, well, you just got to be like, yo, that's well, he my goddamn know. lunch. You could. I guess you could have. Listen, I'm going to go back to what you said about hindsight, and I agree with you there. But I guess you could have asked the professor and be like, can you, what's wrong with your... Well, okay, right. the first instance, it was she was just eating a fry and we were basically done, right? So I'm like, if she's going to eat a fry, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Like, it's weird, but second time, she's already eating my burger. What can be done? Like, hey, can you give me five bucks Well, it's just for my the burger principle cake? of the thing so that she knows that in future situations like this, that is your burger and not a, well, one okay, that's just I, available I, for community taking. I will Maybe. say this. Mm -hmm. If it happened, even if I had no experience of this, if it happened to me now, it'd be completely different because I don't give a fuck what people think anymore, right? Uh -huh. But at the time, I'm like this student trying to keep my job, super respected professor, senile wife. I just let it go. You're worried about yeah. getting expelled for calling out the professor's wife for stealing your bag hey, lunch? Honestly, <laughs> that, that job was legit. There's so many hot chicks come in because they don't know how to use computers back wow. then. You know? This is like Ew. the early 2000s. So. Damn. Yeah. Pretty nice. I mean, it's ASU, man. There's so many... So many hot yeah, there's no way I would have said anything. I think, I mean, well, you're Canadian, your burger, right? It's way too late. No, I mean, come on. <laughs> please eat my burger. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would you like ketchup oh. with that, please? <laughs> oh, your wife's a bloody hoser. <laughs> that's that's, that's like half British, half I don't know. What? No one actually what? says hoser. I don't know why that's a Canadian thing. Some oh, yeah. prairies people, I guess, but no God one actually hosers. goes that far. All right, I, I've I've got a story. Well, one more story. Th this is this is from college Zayori. So this is this Whoa. is a good one. All right, you ready? All right. Before we start, I need to ask you guys a question. How are any of you familiar with the Mr. Hands video? Oh God! Does anyone know what that is? No, <laughs> only slacks. Okay. Nope. I've been to the darkness, Sayori. Okay, so I, I think this, this story needs to start. You know how some movies start with like a definition? You know, they define the word in the title. That's exactly what this one needs. So Mr. Hands is one of, one of the earlier um, viral upsetting shock videos where a, a kind young gentleman goes to a barn and they lube up a horse and the horse fucks the shit out of the guy. And then the guy dies shortly after. Not on what? camera, but whoa, whoa, wait. he dies. This is, this is two guys, one horse. Well, no, this is just no, one horse. No, that, that, that's this that's is just slacks. one dude and one horse. So anyway, Mr. Hands. I don't know why they call it that. I don't know whose hands, but uh, it's like filmed on a potato cell phone. There was a short period in my life when I was transitioning to college where I thought shock, shock value was exciting. So I, I watched the Mr. Hands video a time or two. So... I'm in undergrad, right? A my time very, or two. My very first. Well, it's, you know, you gotta. It's like the Zacruder film. back for seconds? Hey, it's like the Zacruder film. You can't just watch JFK's head explode once. You gotta watch it a couple times to really oh, get God. the full effect, right? Anyway, I lost my virginity <sighs> to that movie. There you go. So I, I'm just just getting settled in my dorm, and you know, I, I was living with my girlfriend and in the dorm, kind of going back and forth. So I didn't know my roommate that well. He was a little skittish, kind of a quiet, nerdy type. You know, one of the first things we bonded over was his screen name, which was Darko93, Big Donnie 
Donnie Darko fan, right? Hey-o. And his big hobby was sitting on his desk and reading Wikipedia, all right? So I spent most of my time playing World of Warcraft arenas. And the internet wasn't so good. So I was lagging a lot and I was playing a warrior. So I, I was always glitching around and I wasn't doing enough damage. So most of the arena sessions were just me and my arena partner yelling at each other about how bad the other person is at World of Warcraft. So we finally take a break, we're all heated, and I'm sitting there kind of wondering what my roommate thinks about me as this guy. It's just like, hey, what's up, Donald? You motherfucker, why didn't you heal me? God damn it, you piece of <laughs> screaming at people about how bad they are at World of Warcraft. You know, this is, you know, pre-dealing with my rage issue, Dave. So you thought you'd ease his worries with a little no, online no, video. No, 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 yeah. it, it was more subtle than that. So I get so furious, I get so in the zone. We're taking a break, and one of my friends starts talking about some dipshit video that he's seen. Before you ever hear people that have those stories like, I had two beers last night, and I went crazy. It's like, shut up. I had eight beers, and I wasn't even as drunk as you. It's one of those kind of situations. I was like, you think that video is fucked up? I'll show you a fucked up video, and I link him, Mr. <laughs> Hands. And we start talking about it, and we're breaking it down, and they're like, is it real? Is it fake? And I'm sort of trying to use lingo that doesn't allude to the fact that I'm watching video of a dude fucking a horse because I'm afraid that Donald <laughs> might judge me in our first week in the dorm together. So after like three or four minutes, and I start laughing, and I'm like, yeah, no, he fucking died, dude. It was serious. And then Donald, <laughs> he pokes me on the shoulder, and I tear my hands, and he's like, hey, man, I don't want to be weird, and I don't want you to think I'm eavesdropping, but are you talking about the Mr. Hands video? And I was like, actually, I am. He's like... Dude, that shit's fucked up. I'm like, it is fucked up, isn't it? And then we high five, and after that, I was like, all right, Donald's on the level. Hell yeah. And that was how I knew that Donald and I were going to be good roommates for the rest of college. <laughs> wow, nice. All right. <laughs> I love the, I feel like some of those videos are rites of passage as a young man. They are. You know, like uh, two girls, one cup. Yeah. Uh, the guy with seed. a jar. The guy I mean, with a jar. Goat Seed is Getting the original. Goat seed. That's yeah. where it all began, is Goat Seed. We can all thank Goat Seed that for guy's everything old, that too. followed. That guy's old, I mean, he's been working on that for a while. Yeah, he's, his anus and is just Tub Girl. Well, he's yeah. getting ready for 4K. He's got to increase Tub Girl the distance. Is classic. Meat spin. Tub Girl. Oh, God, Tub Girl. Tub Don't Girl even... was one of the first ones I ever saw. Yeah, Tub Girl was also one of the first ones I saw. <laughs> Changed me forever. It really did. How about you, yeah, Slacks? Same. What was the first bad one that ruined your life? Well, let's see. Uh, I went down to my basement. Uh, my dad had a camcorder. He told me to take off my clothes. Oh, uh, Jesus. Nah, I'm just... <laughs> nah, I've seen them all. we all seen them all. That's the benefit know. of dial-up, yo. Like, it loaded so slow that <laughs> yeah. by the time I knew what was happening, I was out of there. I was like, right. oh, I, I don't got to see this. I was a yeah. pure, you know, innocent child. All right, well, we better wrap this up before some 16-year-old in Southeast Asia Googles all these keywords. It's too late. You are in incognito mode, friends. You, are you, listen, <laughs> we, should no have, no. we should have made a disclaimer at the beginning of this story to not go to these sites unless you're really just... If I don't know. You, no, I, I disagree. You got it first. Incognito. That's the requirement. <sighs> but you guys should look at all of these because I feel like it's something you need to go through as a human being it is kind of your yeah. life so if you want to end them. up like sun's fan watch yeah, all of then, these yes, if, this, exactly. if this is the result you exactly. want exactly then go hey, for it's, that it's all rites of passage team okay. owner owner of the biggest dota you know youtube channel celebrity Woo. Watch. you should see he goes all to the there the more philanthropist yeah. There was a oh, lot yeah. more than oh, just the best. videos that went along with that but oh yes. there's actually one more it's not that disturbing harlem as far as like shock value but it's called shake that bear I haven't heard of that. I've never What's seen that Shake That. ShakeThatBear.com if it's still up. I'm not sure. I'm oh, not going there. All right. Not, do you guys want one more disturbing story? All right. One more one? story, then we're wrapping this baby up. Let's now, do it. That's a life disturbing story. That's a life disturbing story. All right. Good. No, we're ready. Let me turn you All up right. a little bit. Let's let's get now, this real good. Everybody always asks me, Slacks, why don't you like anime? People try to get me to watch One Punch Man and all that other fucking anime bullshit. And I can't do it. It makes me sick. Here's the story why. Back when I was a kid, I used to like Pokemon a lot. You know me, I like Pokemon. Pokemon Snap number one player in the house, if you remember that tale. I'd come home from school every day, and I had an older sister. And she would want to hang out with me. And I I don't know why. But she's like, hey, you want to come watch some cartoons? And I'm like, what are we watching? She's like, we're watching anime. So we're watching these cartoons every day at a school. It's like a bonding moment. <laughs> I spent more time with my sister doing that than I've done with anything with my sister. Anyway, so we do that for like a year or something. Um, and I'm talking to my friends. I, I go to college. And they're watching some animes. And I'm like, hey, anime. I used to watch anime. Me and my sister. Uh, they're like, what'd you watch? And I was like, well, when I was by myself, I watched Dragon Ball Z. Um, but when I was with her, we watched all sorts of animes. We watched Dragon Quest. We watched Midnight Panther. And they're like, what are you talking about? 
And I was like, what do you mean? They were like, dude, those are hentais. And I'm like, no, they're not hentai. What's a hentai? And they're like, dude, those are all porn movies. And I'm like, they're not porn movies. And they're like, describe what happened. I was like, all right, so this chick, she has magic powers. And she transforms once all the water starts coming. Oh, my God. Came out of her vagina. <laughs> my sister watched fucking hentai with me every day. How did you not know that? Year. I didn't know. I was a little kid. That, we watched fucking hentai every day. I knew day. what hentai was when I was 10. How do you so know So here's what, what happened. My sister wa liked watching hentai, but she <laughs> thought that our parents would think it was weird if she was hogging the TV. So she invited me down and told me to watch an anime <laughs> so that she wouldn't get busted for watching fucking hentai. So now every time I watch an anime, I think someone's going to whip their dick out and start jizzing all over the place. I can't watch that <laughs> shit. So wow. It was all fucking hentai, dude. How You're so smart. What's... I don't even know, like, how to approach this. Like, how... She thought it wouldn't affect me because she, she just needed an alibi for oh. watching the Does TV. Does she still watch hentai TV. is the inevitable question. Oh, uh, yeah, you that. think? All right. Yeah, she still watches hentai. I, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know your sister. This is the sister where I had to go spend a night at her house. And just one night, just one night, and she fucks her husband. One night, one night, they're in the room next to us, and I wake up to her, ah! And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Are we being robbed? No, I'm one night in Wait, your house. Wait, how old were you when that happened? I was in college at the time. Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> one night, you can't boink and wake me the fuck up one room over? Jeez. She's uh, she's got Tough some life, she's dude. got some weird things going on. Slax, I don't know what I can tell you, buddy. She but gets really uh, turned on by your presence. I mean, yeah, yeah, kind of condition herself to do that with all the hentai. Yeah, I, I guess makes so. <laughs> oh, I mean, Jesus! Slax, uh, I hate to tell you this, but yeah, that's uh, that's a little weird. But first of all, I do want to I mean, say that. I mean, she's hot. I'd fuck her, but. Uh... <laughs> This show is uh, supposed to help our totally public normal. image, guys, <laughs> and I'm let's not just, so sure that we're achieving that this end episode. On, we should just end on that note right there. That's Thanks just, for the invite. We're yeah, done. That That's good. it. Yep. Good, good to see you, Trent. You. I just yeah. hope all, to see we're you We're all again. fired, everybody. Yeah. Good to... <laughs> I guess we're done. We're done in Dota forever. You know, the sad thing is, Bye. I had an easier time with Grand Grand around the pit. Like, that's... Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! Well, thank you for sharing that story, Slacks. That Slacks, actually, real great stuff. I understand well, a lot more about you. No, the, that's it's like Mr. Hands, Mr. Hands in real life. <laughs> yeah, that was that was Your comparable to mine, except very different. Hentai with you in the room. <sighs> well, every time, every time right. I see a, a fucking anime clip, I think someone's gonna get fucked. Let me tell every you, Slacks. Uh, not every anime's hentai, and uh, maybe one day you'll sure? learn that. I mean, don't watch anime with me because I'll definitely put on a hentai for you. <laughs> Oh no, he's gonna get triggered. Oh, I, I can't, can't wait to I can't wait to be able to do that. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna lure you into a false sense of security and then boom, when you least expect it, you're done. Can we not use the the words false sense of security and hentai in the same sentence, please? <laughs> Completely oh, my God. Fine. Completely fine. Completely fine. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for All watching right. What the Duck. Find it on <laughs> iTunes, moonduck.tv slash podcast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We'll see you after <laughs> Uh, when's the next one of these guys? After the summit, at least next week, week after, maybe after TI. Who knows? That's it. We're done. We're we're out. Bye bye. Bye. bye.